Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge for February 15th, 2019. Looking at yesterday's leaderboard, only 13 players with Voodoo taking away a top score with an 870. That seems relatively implausible, but is possible, I suppose. Uh, that said, High Drone Health would pretty much be the only way, and 170 points is a lot. So, probably not? Not sure. There's a couple other ways that could have happened, and there's still an unknown glitch where maybe the score goes a little too high anyway. We also have Dano with 715, LB and myself, and Decavoy with 705. It is very late. Mustika and ITJ with a 695, Reuven with a 685, and then Longfellow, 540, and Dargard, 500. And for the friends list, we also have Marvin in 11th with a 453, taking a lot of damage. Not sure from what. Today, we have Stealth, fantastic, but below average drone health across the board. Okay, one infestation on Muteki E. Muteki E? Muteki B? Means this should actually be a relatively straightforward run, but I do have some in my eye. Just a moment. I think I've been having a little bit too much salt. My eyes are getting a little teary. Burning. Uh oh. I went the wrong way. Okay, you found it. Good. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, the good news is I can make. I can work with that and. Not risk losing anything. Okay. All right. That's a firm install, but there was also a terminal. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the survey. All right, good news. It's actually that I don't even need stealth today. The one infestation is sentry. Perhaps the bad news is where I found one. Medium hull integrity as well. Okay. Probably just went the other way, didn't it? Okay, well that is unfortunate.
Okay, that's good. Um. So there's two sentries on board. And I need to either hope for radiation at six minutes, which is still actually a long way away. Another survey. Another survey. Yep, all I have today is survey. All right, um. I've checked the entire ship for the most part. Hello. Well, that's a find. damaged but that is going to be the best way to deal with these guys that is for sure especially with stealth on hand I'm not going to need that. I'll go ahead and take these. Interesting that it repositioned the, uh, maybe it rotated it? I didn't notice that time around. Must have. That one gave me three. All right, well, 50-50 from the uh, sentry department. Not seeing anything else that I might have missed. I... reasonably sure I checked that terminal in R5 because that's the one that I used yeah that's the one that I used to get survey so yeah nothing else that I can do I can only hope that I don't lose the upgrade looks like it stayed 
20 scrap, four of that was from the sentries, one propulsion fuel, starting score of 500, and one drone with two upgrades. And that turret was quite nice to avoid taking damage. And one ship upgrade that I never look at. Total of 1020. And Darguard ended up with a lot extra. Maybe. Well, how do you... He must not have gotten the fuel, I guess. Dano and myself scored a 1020. Interestingly, LB... was down by 35 points. Didn't recover the drone. I am a little confused. He didn't recover the ship upgrade or the fuel. Maybe. Fuel's an easy... I don't know. That's that's confusing. ITJ and Cobalt 950 and Ben Fartine an 885. And Decavoid either took some radiation damage. Actually, probably he took some radiation damage. Trying to preserve the, uh, the ship up, or the drone upgrade. Did Darguard maybe lose? If he'd had 25, that'd be an 1160. He was 7 points higher than us. That's 140. That actually makes sense. Darguard got ship scan, but lost the defense or the turret upgrade. Dano and myself. I'm really confused with LB. Maybe he lost the upgrade too. That's that's much more obvious. That makes a lot more sense. Wow. I, I it took way too long to figure out that could have been what happened. Math, not my strongest suit at 3 a.m. So, if you haven't done your run yet, it's pretty easy run today. You only have to deal with sentries, you have stealth. That in and of itself is overpowered. Uh, you get a turret, but it's damaged, so there's a lot of chance in some of the things that happened today. Overall, I don't know the exact chance for things to break. It's around 10 to 15 percent. Um, it's probably better to take the chance that it doesn't break, because it's a very low chance overall, than to subject yourself to the radiation damage. If there was any other way to do it, like with lure, not with lure, but with like a mine or something, that would definitely be preferred over a damaged turret. Even though that carries its own complications. And, uh, yeah. If you have finished your own, leave a comment with your own experiences and strategies for a ship like this. Uh, I guess overall, happy with the ship, but it's a little bit easy. Of course, it's late, so I'm, I'm happy that it was easy, really. If you'd like to check out other videos, you can see Marvin, Copper, Dano416, LB, Mustika21, Dargar, Decavoid, Merkala, Korintoth, and Agenta 1999. By the time you hear this, all these videos will be uploaded because that is going to be one of my weekend projects, and I have a long weekend, so it'll happen. If you enjoyed, despite the delayed nature of this and my other videos, do please like, and have a good day.